All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All The Mods 8 Season 2. Guys, last episode was amazing. You guys really loved it. I'm glad you guys are liking it. I'm liking it too. Uh, I've done a bit of work. As you can see, I'm in full diamond armor. Uh, yeah, I just went kind of mining and found a cave that had a bunch of like diamond tools. Like this one has unusing, this one has silk touch. This one didn't have a chant at all. Um, we have respiration one, reactive two life mending so it's nothing too good uh, and then the other thing too is i did go ahead and make this uh, a little different i know we were going to do uh copper here but i decided to do these uh iron plates from cork and we just threw them into a saw saw mill is that the right word saw mill i am not sure it's this guy Oh, stone cutter. Yeah, we just threw them into here and we were good to go. And the question I asked you guys last episode was actually solved very quickly for me. Uh, so all we need to do is put a, um, so this is a wire coil, this is a wire point or whatever they're called. And then you all you have to do is just put two of these caps and then you right click the block and it turns into the pass through or the feed through insulator. So we have all of our power right here at the at our fingertips so that's pretty good also added in some of these and i did a little bit of mining off camera <laughs> nothing too crazy literally just a little bit of mining we only have 10 diamonds which is a little nuts but yes today we are going to be utilizing this power here and we are going to be getting some smelters getting some ways to multiply our ores so i can just chuck these in here um, these raw copper uh rock just raw copper I can throw them into a little machine and it'll spit out the goodies. So that's what we're doing today. All right, so first things first, I do wanna go ahead and get one of these small electrical furnaces. So that's gonna require quite a bit of iron. I do have, a, oh, nope, nope, that's not what I wanna do. I do have a lot here, so it's really good. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll need to click this guy. Perfect, we shouldn't need more than that. All right, and need a furnace um, I moved all of our furni furni into the ground here uh, just to save some room and make it feel a little bit better in here so that's been fun and dandy uh, I need to do I need to get some things set up here Take the spruce chest turn into a normal chest and then I believe we need three of these like so beautiful so now we can make the small laboratory furnace and then we should be able to make the small electrical furnace perfect okay so i'm gonna move these guys here i did find this statue while i was doing fun things in i don't know places okay so i'm gonna put this guy here because we need the input to be here and then the output to be there and then we are going to grab one of those little points a wire connector we'll throw it right here and then i think i'm going to connect this guy up to a relay because we should be able to connect multiple um like multiple of these guys to here so we don't have to worry about that i'm not too entirely sure let's see if i take this guy put it here yeah okay so this is a good idea to have this but now you can get bit by that Okay, but this guy is good to go. So now we can actually just start smelting things quickly. Um, for instance, let's throw these guys in here. And as you can see, this smelts up stone very, very quickly for us, uh, which is amazing. And I wonder, can we just do this? <gasps> yes, you can. All we need is to believe. <laughs> cool. So we got some stone there. Very nice. Um, yeah, so now we need to get a system here to double the ores. Okay, so we do have a few uses here for the raw iron and just raw materials that we get. A lot of people um, in the comments have told me that they really like the hammer. We did this like season uh, one of all the mods eight. We just put this into a mixing basin uh, like this and it gives us two. Now I do think this is probably our best method here, uh, but it does mean we have to get into create in order to do that. So let's go ahead here, take a look at create. We're utilizing both immersive engineering and create, which is pretty cool, honestly. So we're gonna make a couple of these water wheels here. Um, yeah, and these are pretty simple to make, just some alloy like that. We have quite a bit of andesite in one of the chests here, already getting disorganized. That didn't take long. Okay, so 
we will utilize these guys and we will turn them into ingots. And there we go. Have ourselves some shafts, which will be good later on. And then next we need to combine these up. And you can just go like this. Uh, I would like to have one more water mill. We're going to have three of these guys going. Where did my wood go? There. Okay, so it is shapeless, which is pretty neat. All right, and then we take these guys and we wrap them around with spruce planks or slabs, sorry, and then we get our water wheels here. So um, these are going to be how we get rotational force, which is the main ingredient for create. Um, so yes, we actually need to utilize these guys here. I just realized that, um, okay, there we go. So now our buckets are empty. Uh, I did go ahead and make a sink here just so we can have our infinite water. So yeah, I guess now, um, we need a gear to come through here maybe. Ugh. Every time I go through, it's gonna bite me. Okay, and so this is where the mixer will be. So we're gonna be a little tight here, which should be fine, but now I'm gonna have to sprint through again, and we're gonna create a room in which we are able to do this. Cool. So let me clear out a space for us here. Cool thing is this shovel mines in a one by three area. So that's why it's able to mine straight up like that, which is very, very handy and nifty. So I'm digging that. Okay, so what we're gonna go ahead and do here, we have our water wheels set up. We'll be able to set up an infinite water source here. And so we place this guy, place this guy, and place this guy, and that's okay. Uh, all we'll have to do is just block this off and we're good to go perfect all right so all we have to do is just get the rotational force from here over to there so what we're gonna do is utilize some gears um yeah we actually we can make a couple of these guys perfect okay so gear here gear here all right so that means we gotta put a big gear probably right here, and then a smaller gear. Hmm. Actually, hmm. Hmm, oh, well, he drowned, that's dead. So we need to bring this out one block. I was hoping to make a second gear change, but that's okay. There we go. So that now is working. And we did have a gear shift in there, but we could potentially make it faster if we go, say, from here. Yes, 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 yes. We just want one more gear change if possible. Um, okay, we definitely can't put that guy here. Okay, so we're going to move this little guy over to here. Cool. Okay. So, we ended up just moving that to a smaller gear. We actually have one gear change, two, and then a third gear change. So, there's a chance we might need to add a couple more of these guys on the back. Um, and we can do that later on. They're not too difficult at all to use. So now if we do slash home, we should be back up here. And yep, we can see that this guy is spinning pretty good. Um, so now we just need to connect that up to a mixing basin. So let's look here. Um, ba -dink. All right, so we need this guy. And then let's hit backspace and then we'll hit A on this. So we need a mechanical mixer, which means we need to click a stripped piece of wood with an andesite alloy. So we go like this and then you go click and then we take the andesite alloy and we click that. Good. Okay. And so then we need a gear and then we need a whisk. 
just need, wow, that's pretty simple. Where's my engineer's hammer? I think it's here. Nope, it's here. I have no idea where it is. This is why, oh, there it is. We, this is why we need digital storage. Okay, so we need five of these. That's six. We need five. This boom, we have a whisk. We should be able to make the mixer. Amazing. Rest in peace, mixer. All right. So we can get rid of those guys. And then now we just need some of those. So I think we need three more. Do I have any more andesite anywhere? Okay, we have some there. I need one more andesite. Please tell me I have one more andesite. I probably don't have one more andesite. Well, let's see, this is just one, if you can get it right, yeah. We need one more andesite, jeez. Okay, so we have the final piece of andesite here, which is, what was that actually? Oh, tree tap, that's kind of neat. Okay, so all we gotta do is this, and booyah. So uh, the cool thing is it doesn't utilize durability when we use this too, which is amazing. But we need sticks. There we go. Three of those, one, two, three. And then booyah. So we can just chuck this guy in there and we should be able to, th ow. Should be able to throw this in there. Yep, and it's mixing, it's not overstressed. So this is, Awesome, so all we need to do is set up a pipe over here to pull out the filtered items. So I'm gonna utilize uh, the pipes and pipe filters uh, from pipes. So I'll make a couple of these guys and I'll show you guys how I set it up. Okay, so we're gonna need a advanced, uh, that's not what I wanna do. We need an advanced pipe upgrade here, which we can make beautiful. We also need to make a pipe wrench. We're probably gonna be using this for the rest of the series. So we're gonna go like this and like this. And um, yeah, we're gonna need to do this, which we need to whitelist um, the copper powder like that so it doesn't get pulled through. Oh, okay, so we can put this here. Now we can also put this in and also that. Did we lose some copper? I don't know, here. So, oh, come on. Throw that in there, that's good. Uh, I do have a little bit of some need to make a second hammer here real quick okay so this will allow us to create the white list for it yes perfect add that in only this can be taken through so we can add this stuff yep and there we go that'll start to process beautiful then we can take this chest here and put this on it and bang yeah check it out the irons in there it's been it's been doubled perfect so this will continue to work all we gotta do is just throw our raw ores in there um, the ones that we don't filter through will like just instantly go as soon as they go in there like they'll, they'll get kind of pushed through um, but they'll still be smelted but yeah, we have officially set up the system to double our ores. It was that simple. I mean, this looks pretty good. I don't really like how this looks too much, but hey, it, it gets the job done. And that's all that matters. Might be able to put like another little relay over here or something like that. Um, yeah, let's see if that makes it better. Let's see, relay. Uh, we'll break this guy. Okay, boom to boom. And 
then boom to boom. Okay, so that way should be a lot more difficult to get bit by it. <laughs> so let's see, we dig the copper, put the copper in there, should start to get pushed in. Yep, don't have to worry about this. This still has power, even though it doesn't say it has power in this. It still has power, which is amazing. And we are doubling our ores. That is good. So, make this look a little slimmer. Put that here. I mean, it doesn't look as cool because we can't see it, but it saves a little bit of space and we need all the space we can get. We also need to maybe move an access point up to the roof. Uh, we can do that pretty easily by just adding that here. And then now we can have high voltage cables running above our head that can kill us at any time. Yeah, we love to see it. That is definitely OSHA approved, if you guys know what I mean. So yeah, we'll put this guy here, and then we'll take the low voltage guy, run it here. Booyah, so now we have power to kind of any other things that we need, and this kind of feels cool in here. I like it a lot. I really like it, guys. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. And this is all like, we, we don't have, to, like we're not using any coal, anything like that. So the coal that we do get, we can utilize for other things. Uh, the charcoal we get, we can utilize for other things too, like making gunpowder or making a cobblestone standing torch or making an endstone brick fire pit, you know, the, the essentials or a pink wool fire pit. You know how much we need those, that's so good. Okay, so what I would like to go ahead and do for the rest of the video here is set up a couple of garden cloches uh, that are gonna allow us to kind of create uh, a lot of like resources from plants really quickly. Uh, especially, uh, what are these called out here? The, these guys, we're gonna grow these, the industrial hemp seeds. Uh, because yeah, as you can see, I've upgraded this guy up here to the it's like the maximum windmill you can have but none of the other ones have it and as you can see it moves a lot faster generates more power and i'd like for all four of them to be at max speed so we're gonna be working on that now so garden cloches are not super difficult to make uh we're gonna go ahead and get some oh whoa well i guess here's the other thing that we can utilize the stuff for that i was telling you about <laughs> All right, so yeah, we can smelt up those. Uh, we do have the treated wood we don't need to worry about. We've already got it, but we do need... We do need this incandescent light bulb, which takes paper, bamboo, glass, and copper. Well, we have a stupid amount of bamboo, so we are definitely gonna utilize that. Does it need a different formula? Nope, it should be okay. That is amazing to hear. I'm so glad that we don't have to make another one of those. All right, we got a couple pieces of glass here and then some iron, is that right? No, it's copper, not iron. Sorry about that. Let's get some copper here. Oh yeah, so we have a total of nine of those incandescent light bulbs. That's way more than we need, which is good. Okay, and then for this bottom guy again, if I remember correctly, two iron plates in one copper. So we'll make eight of these. We got four of those. We throw these all here. Boom, we have four of these iron mechanical doohickeys. Cool, and then there we go. We have some garden cloches. Okay, why can we only make two? We're missing glass. Oh, story of everything. Yeah, let's make at least three. Cool beans. So what I was thinking, actually setting up a kind of greenhouse over here where we would have all of our uh, plant-based things. We'd have, like, obviously we'd have a couple, oh, it's raining, that's great. But we'd have uh, these guys kind of here. So we're gonna place these like so, and there'd be like a walkway in the middle, and this would kind of just be like a little greenhouse. I'm glad it's not lined up, doesn't look too crazy. Um, yeah, but let's go ahead and build that here. Um, we're not gonna build anything crazy this episode. I'm not even gonna finish the build. I just wanna get kind of the infrastructure in. 
All right, so what we need to do now is we're actually going to run a cable from here all the way over to there. Um, we have to run kind of in a weird pattern. Um, actually, I'm gonna kind of cut this way a little bit. And we've got plenty of like resources to do this, so we'll be okay. One too far, okay. So this is where we wanna bring it to. Um, we're actually, well, actually we need to bring it to this one. So I'm gonna fill in everything else other than this guy. Okay, and so we'll place one guy here and then another guy here, here, here. Well, we'll play. Okay, so we should be able to connect these guys, no problem, all right. There we go, and this is the final one. Well, not really the final one. Cool. So we need to put some wi live wire connectors here. Um, yes, yeah, so we need a relay like so. We bring it up from here. Okay, so this needs to be moved one block over because I need it to go directly up. And to here, perfect, and then to there, to there, and to there. Yes, these guys have power now, amazing. So we're gonna take we're gonna fill this in so I don't die accidentally by falling in. Okay, cool. So I shouldn't be able to fall in too easily. Uh, if we want to, we can change that into a pass through, uh, but these guys are getting power, so we need to make sure that the items are gonna get taken out of here. And so to do that, all we're gonna do is put those cables here, and then we'll click that once click that and those guys so it's all pulling out cool and then the final thing we need to do is kind of the opposite where we're pulling water out of here and they're getting put into here perfect so these guys are good to go we can throw whatever seeds we want so we're going to utilize the hemp ones and this will just help us uh you know for one get string and two to be able to upgrade all of those windmills to produce the max amount. So yeah, there we go. Got some garden cloches set up. They're gonna produce, actually we need to make that a double, uh, a dual drawer. So let me do that real quick. All right, there we go. We have a double spruce drawer here. And the reason we do this is because this will not only give us the hemp, but also the seeds. And so we need to be able to have both of those in there growing otherwise it'd get backed up and they wouldn't be able to go but yes now we have an industrial hemp seeds fully automated we don't have to touch it um the only thing i do think we need to do is probably put some upgrades on there from uh the storage drawer what was that functional storage oh i put a s s there perfect so we're gonna put a couple of the copper upgrades on it um so i'll make a few more Perfect, okay. And then we just need a bunch of copper, which we have. All right, and then we just need some chests. Cool, so let's make some of these copper upgrades. Total of four, perfect, the perfect amount. So if we go here, one, two, three, four, as we can see, it will hold 4.2 million of each of these. So we will probably never run out, which is awesome. But yeah, we are good to go. I got some bamboo growing over here, some spruce trees. Uh, I have some cows over here that we're going to be breeding up so I can get an enchanting table. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. Thank you all so much for watching, guys. Today we are doubling our ores and we have some automated 
farming. So anyways, take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.